Hi there, um, I haven't done any uh, videos for a while as I've been not doing much in the way of electronics recently but I thought I'd do a quick one on uh, stereo encoders um, I do a fair bit of work from time to time on stereo tuners you know, refurbishing them, aligning them stereo receivers also I thought it'd be useful because they often say in the uh, service manual about aligning the uh, stereo decoder circuit. Well, most signal generators, including mine, don't have any facility to produce a stereo signal. Um, it's, there are specialised ones you can buy, but um, I haven't got one of them. I've just got my nice Marconi up there. And that has got, of course, an external modulation input. So I thought, well, I could, if I could build a stereo de decoder, I could stick that into the modulation input. And it's got a bandwidth, I think, of 100 kilohertz. So it should be fine for a stereo signal. And um, so then I sort of did a search on eBay for a stereo decoder, and I come up with this. And it's... Um, Nice little board, um, 20 quid plus £2.65 postage, right, well that's fine, but I thought, you know, um, didn't see much to it, maybe I can find a circuit on uh, Google and Google a circuit for stereo and coda and build it, build a circuit board myself. So. Um, did a search for stereo encoders and the circuit that popped up was this one here and it uses a BH1417 now on further investigation this appears to be not just a stereo encoder but a stereo transmitter um, and in this case, they've admitted most of the transmitter components. Uh, it's just the stereo bit you're all using. And um, you've got your two uh, channels coming in on left and right through coupling DC blocking capacitors. Then you've got 2.2N capacitors. That is, forms the pre-emphasis circuit. And the same on the other channel. Then you've got 150 PF, that's for 15 kilohertz low pass filter. And if you're lucky, you get your um, a nasty bit of metal on my screwdriver. Um, you get your stereo multiplex signal out of pin 5, which is very helpful. Um, and you can use that then to drive the input of the, uh, the uh, signal generator's external modulation input. And of course you've got your 7.6 megahertz crystal here, which is, um, if you divide that down, gives you 19 kilohertz pilot tone, and also um, 38 kilohertz for the uh, FM subcarrier. So, um, I tried to buy one of these chips, looked on eBay for one of these chips, so I thought fairly simple circuit. Um, of course you need the crystal as well, 7.6 megahertz. Probably had all the other bits. But um, the cheapest I could get was about, I don't know, £4.50 for one of these chips, which is fine. Then, then I'd have to buy the crystal. But what else came up when I was doing a search was um, a kit from China for a complete stereo transmitter using that same chip for £4.88 delivered which I thought great you know I'll have the circuit board I'll have all the components I need I won't bother with half the components because it's for the transmitter section um, the bonus is I'll have a few spare components so um, yeah this is a complete stereo transmitter a hell of a lot cheaper than I could have bought the original stereo encoder for so, um, a couple of weeks later, um, 
Also, by the way, I, before I finish that, if you have a look at this original stereo encoder that I was going to go about buying, that looks suspiciously like they're using the same chip and just not bothering with all the transmitting parts of the board. So, um, anyway, I ordered one of those transmitter kits from China and turned up a couple of days ago. It took about two weeks, which is not bad. And um, I'm afraid I couldn't wait and I had to build it before I did the video. So, um, this is what you get. As you can see, I've already put most of the components, I put all the components on already. I, I need to use. There's a hell of a lot of components I won't bother with because that's just for the transmitter part. Um, and yes, and um, as you can see, you've got, I put down here a couple of pins on the board for left and right input. They did have pots on there to for the level, but I'm not bothered about the level. I'll be putting a signal in through from my audio generator so I can just put the signal straight into the chip. There's the 7.6 megahertz crystal and I'm uh, tapping off the uh, uh, multiplex signal via a capacitor here. Uh, I think it's a 10 microfarad capacitor. And it's got a 10k to earth and then another 10 microfarad capacitor and there's some more pins on the board for the multiplex output and the power connections there positive negative and on the back is the actual chip which is surface mount chip um i had to make a few mods to the board but it's nothing serious and that's basically it so i think probably what i'll do is just show the output spectrum on my spectrum analyzer so i've got it wired up now to the spectrum analyzer and um, just up to the power supply it draws 5 volts 18 milliamps which is uh, not a hell of a lot of power i'll just show you the uh, spectrum analyzer screen got a bit of um glare from the overhead light just turn the light off okay um i'm displaying i think from Start frequency zero hertz, okay, and stop frequency. I'll put 100 kilohertz. Okay, so um, I do a peak search on that. I get um, pilot tone 19 kilohertz, and move the marker across. Yeah, there's a 38 kilohertz subcarrier, and I'm obviously getting a harmonic here. Yeah, that'd be a harmonic of 19 kilohertz, I'm guessing. Um, I think I'll change the stop frequency. Go back to 38 kilohertz anyway, and uh, this is with no input to the board at all, so it's just a basic multiplex signal with no audio input to the uh, encoder board. So I'll just stick an audio signal into it. So I'm, just, I'm now inputting uh, one kilohertz sine wave into one of the uh, input pins left or right, not sure which, doesn't really matter. And if we look at the spectrum analyzer, we've still got the 19 kilohertz um, pilot. And of course you won't see 
the one kilohertz on the low end of the screen or you can just see it because the analyzer is only really guaranteed to work down to nine kilohertz it will just about display one kilohertz anyway what else have we got we've got 19 kilohertz pilot tone up here and further across we've got the subcarrier at 38 kilohertz and the plus and minus double sideband signal produced in other words um, Yeah, 37 kilohertz is the lower sideband with a 1 kilohertz input and of course the uh, upper sideband at uh, 39 kilohertz. So if I change the frequency, as you can see, the double sideband signal will gradually change and you can also now start to see the uh, signal down at this is 5 kilohertz now so that's the uh, basically the mono signal at 5 kilohertz and the double sideband signal here based on uh, the 30, 38 kilohertz uh, subcarrier but if I continue to increase the frequency this is 6 kilohertz 7, 8, 9, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, of course, we uh, get into the uh, limit of the stereo signal because really it's just 15 kilohertz. In, uh, that's the way stereo was designed to be a maximum of 15 kilohertz. But this should have a low pass filter built into this board. And here we've got the mono 50 signal at 17 kilohertz I'm on the moment and it's still going to end at 15 that's 15 kilohertz minus 10 dBm um, it should start to cut off but it just doesn't seem to that's 17 kilohertz and I've still got a big signal well it's cut a couple of dBs down but um, I guess it is what it is this circuit and it will probably be okay for what I want to do with it um, so next I think I'll show you it uh, connected it up connected up to the um, Marconi RF generator and put it on put it onto uh, a tuner and you can hear what it sounds like so I've set my uh, signal generator to 87.5 and plus 7 dBm output RF output. I'm just using a telescopic whip on it to transmit a low level signal. Now I've got to um, plug in my stereo decoder output into the um, external modulation. And you can may hear a tone in the background already, that's because I've got the uh, receiver on. So I'm basically putting in uh, external modulation at 75 kilohertz deviation and I'm going into one channel on the stereo encoder board I'm picking it up on this receiver over here as you can see the pilot LED is lit up and it should it's only coming out of one speaker which is great coming out of the right hand speaker at the moment and if I switch the input channel it's now coming out of the left hand speaker up here so and not out of the right hand speaker fine so it's all working and not quite sure what to do with the board at the moment. Um, I could put it in a box um, and just have 5 volt power supply connected to it when I want to use it and BNC output, whatever, phono inputs. I'd even thought about 
putting it inside the uh, Marconi generator with a couple of phono sockets on the front and have it switchable, turn it on and off when I need it. But I'm not sure if I really want to drill holes in my nice, nice Marconi signal generator, which was fairly expensive. But anyway, that was that's the video. I hope it's of some interest, and I hope you liked it. Uh, bye for now.